Hello, Libras. Welcome to my channel. Brene with Royal Lion Tarot. This is going to be your reading for the month of April. Sorry that I didn't have marches out. I got really sick at the beginning. So I had a child virus. I got it from my niece and nephews. That shit is way worse than Corona. I'm just kidding. I don't know. But it felt like it. It felt like freaking death. So, um, anyways, so, um, let's see. My new returning viewers, welcome back or welcome. And for all those who are stopping by, I'm glad to have you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see. Timing fluid as usual. But usually my readings, whenever you see this, are three to six weeks out. Okay. Um, if you're looking for like a timeline, I know a lot of people are, but that's really kind of hard to pinpoint when you channel energy for the masses. Okay. Cross watchers, absolutely welcome here. However, don't be offended. I am reading from the zodiac sign of Libra. Okay. So, energy is interchangeable. Make them fit how they do, right? Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. For more comprehensive reading, you can. Um, Check your moon rising and Venus signs. Um, I'm going to use he and she to distinguish between our masculine and our feminine energy because we have both. And if we're on this twin flame journey, then we are learning to balance both of those. Okay. So don't get offended if I say he or she. Let's see. If you would like a personal reading, information should be below. Please like, share, subscribe. And for those that have and have blessed me with a donation or a gift or a personal reading, I appreciate all of you guys. And I appreciate all the likes and the shares and the comments. I love hearing about your journey. And with that, adult channel, right? I don't think I have to say that anymore, but just in case. Um, let's see trying to think of all the admin stuff I need to tell you guys. Um, I'm going to do a Celtic cross spread. And this is usually for twin flame journey. It doesn't have to be though. Typically that's my intention. And for those that, you know, watch my channel and who are regular viewers, I set my energy for you guys. Um, so Celtic cross spread, I'm using Dream Tarot by Sarah Marchetti. Our Tarot of Dreams, which... Dream Tarot, you'll know which one I'm talking about. So um, with that, we'll go ahead and get started. I'm trying to think if I forgot anything, if I did. I guess I will, right? So let's see what's going on for you guys. For April 2020. How are my Libras loving this? Staying at home? All my introverts, they're like, yes. I don't have to deal with people. There's just a formal name for it, social distancing. I don't know, a lot of Libras I know, they're, I don't know if they're introverts. The males don't seem to be, but the female Libras I know like to stick to themselves, so I'm not sure how that is. They're giving, don't get me wrong, they're, they're good with people. Ooh. All right, Six of Cups came out. What are you What are you stuck in your head about? Something nostalgic. You missing somebody? Your childhood? Reminiscing? Feel like you lost something? Leaving home? You missing someone? Just flew right out of here. Whoa, whoa. Okay, Source, cut cut the shit. I don't know. Can you talk to Source that way? Oh, just did. Let's see what we're talking about. Okay. Let's Okay, Libra, let's see what's going on. Mm. 
Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> Queen of Wands, the bottom of the deck. Hmm. Okay. So, in your current position is the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. This is you holding on to some type of power or control of the situation, or you feel like you need, how am I trying to say this? Give me a minute. Okay. Maybe you're having a hard time letting go and letting source turn this wheel of fortune for you, right? Because what crosses you is your card, justice. Uh, this could be another Libra. This probably is you since it's right in your current position, right? And your environment, like what's crossing you in your situation. Or there's some type of justice that you're looking for to get this wheel to turn upright right to come out of this negative stagnant energy whatever it feels like you you've been on this this tough journey or path or whatever it may be okay because in your recent past because no you're i'm sorry you're what lies below you I always have I always trouble trouble with this i don't know why only when i get on on film or camera then i so this is a new beginning a passionate new beginning, um, perhaps some creativity, um, a spark of um, confidence, courage, anything like that. Like it's um, it's a very fiery energy, right? And it wands usually represent action that needs to be taken, initiation of action, or your creativity. Okay, and then in your recent past is the Four of Cups. So. You're up in your head about something. Perhaps there's a need to meditate or to regain focus. Um, because something's being offered to you, but you're not paying attention to what that is. Source is trying to hand you something, but either you failed to receive it or to acknowledge it, and it felt like a loss of some sort. And it could be you trying to hold on to something else too tightly that you missed out on this, right? Or you didn't notice it. Because in your thought space, I have the nine of wands in the reverse. And this energy, give me just a second, is usually um, upright. It's like you have one more battle to fight, right? Um, and you're, you're giving it your all. Right, like you're like, okay, this last one, I'm gonna give it one more go. Right, but in the reverse, in the way this is right now, let me see, I'm trying to give you more depth reading of this. It could almost feel like um, stagnant energy, right? Like you're giving up, like um, lack of movement. And I see that there's there's a lot of cards here that show a lack of movement in a situation that is emotionally and um, perhaps spiritually heartfelt, right? Like something from your creativity. And these cards are stagnant energy. They're, they're kind of up in your head too much or you're feeling not motivated or not knowing where to go or what to do, right? And this card suggests that you meditate on your, situ on your situation um, <clears throat> to turn this wheel back to a more positive direction. And this is your thought, your thought space. Um, 
it also can suggest um, fatigue or being drained from this particular situation, like the fire's burned out, so to speak, right? And coming in your near future, there's the four, the, this, I'm sorry, the six of wands, which is victory. So this is a positive card. Uh, this is being either publicly or creatively recognized or getting some type of recognition. Maybe that you thought you missed an opportunity on. I have to look at your list of your cards. But this is a card of victory. It also represents Leo, the sign of Leo. Um, but it's, um, I said, like accolades or, you know, a reward or, you know, an, an attaboy, a girl, whatever it is, someone's recognizing that your creativity and your talent and what you've been doing, right? So you're a very victorious card. In your environment, I do have the Ace of Pentacles. So usually that's an, a, like a new job or career opportunity um, coming in. It's a stable energy. And in the reverse, it, it could almost feel like a missed opportunity, right? See, I'm seeing a lot of missed opportunity as kind of like a theme in this card. Um, because your I believe, source is telling me that it's you were focused perhaps on the wrong thing or you were failing to recognize the good in your life, right? So gratitude, practicing gratitude and attitude of gratitude and not focusing on the negative can help you come out of this energy. It's a great way to raise your vibration, but you feel like you lost this money opportunity and how others see you is the page of cups in the reverse. So perhaps emotionally, or creatively, you could feel like um, this can sometimes be a very immature energy, and I'm sorry to say it like that. Or not knowing how to respond emotionally properly, I guess, from an emotional standpoint. Um, this kind of can be reaction, right? Um, because cups represent a new birth or creative energy, um, it's, it's our feelings, it's our, it's our deepest feelings. Bear with me just a second. Yes, it's basically an emotional immaturity or some type of insecurity or disappointment. And that could have been with this new beginning in a job, a career, whatever. And with these times right now, I can see where that's very challenging. However, what you're hoping for is this Knight of Wands. So I'm assuming that you're hoping for some type of passion or this is an action card, right? Knights are, um, They're very independent. They like their freedom. Um, they're they have an excitement to them, right? Like they're ready to go to battle, right? They're they're um, this could be Aries. It could be any fire sign. Aries, um, Leo, Sag, right? This is a card of action. So hopefully, like if you're if you're in the situation, you're hoping for maybe some action to be taken. Or to get to be able to get some movement on the situation, especially if you're feeling very stagnant and very stuck in this um, type of negative energy. You know, you're hoping for a new, I guess, spark, but you've had it, right? You've had this new creative, uh, creative um, energy that, that um, this inspiration, this desire, right, to go after something, but you're... I'm seeing you're stuck in your head a little bit or you're focused on the wrong things. Like that's what I'm getting from this. And so something is being missed because you're not, wow, Libra, this is a very tough energy, very frustrating. I'm like, I'm sensing this frustration with you guys. You know what I'm saying? Like you guys seem very frustrated, very irritable at this time. Um, 
it, it feels very negative, right? Um, perhaps you're not knowing how to um, I don't want to say behave, but apply or express your emotions in the situation because a page is about messages, you know, and it's about commun it can be about communication or learning something. So you're struggling to learn how to deal with your emotions in this situation, right? Um, or maybe express them. And in your in your outcome, I see the strength card, and this is usually embracing your inner femininity and being compassionate towards others, forgiving again. Um, Aquarius have this too. You, I don't know what y'all deal with. Y'all need to forgive for what you guys are holding on to in your headspace, but there's something you have to let go of, right? Um, this is a spiritual journey. Um, this is a card of Leo. Okay, it's a strength card. And your strength comes from within, right? Like you can't... You can't look for it in anyone else. It comes from internally when you're aligned with source, right? Or your higher power or the divine, however you want to word it, right? Um, but this is definitely calling for some type of balance. I see that because it's taming our inner lion, right? It's, it's, um, it's more of a soft control, I guess you could say. Um, trusting our instincts, um, maybe reacting, not, uh, not reacting, but responding to a situation, right? Get, um, get a hold of, your true emotions, you know, be honest with yourself. That way you can handle whatever the situation that you're trying to deal with or come out of um, in a more mature manner, right? And that comes with wisdom. We only do the best with what we have, right? And where we're at and what our awareness is, right? Um, if you don't know how to express your emotions properly, that's not common knowledge, right? That has to be learned or that has to, someone has to teach you that. It's not we don't know, you know, we just usually react, right? But with wisdom, you learn how to respond to situations or things or people, whatever it may be, right? Now, I do see this queen of wands. So, and this is a Leo Sag or, um, Leo Sag, no, Aries, sorry, energy. And this card is a feminine energy who's very strong. She's very creative. She's very open-minded. She's comfortable in her sexuality, right? Um, and this could be your energy or this could be what's coming in. You know, take it how it resonates. But it shows that you're going after your, your. you know, this is nine of cups. This is like you're, you're wishing for something, some type of wish fulfillment. And with the wands here, um, the three of wands, you're waiting for your shit to come in. So you probably put something out into the universe and you're waiting for it to come back in. Right, and you're hoping that it's emotionally fulfilling, right? This wish, whatever this is. Um, and with the Page of Wands, so there's a lot of fire here. There's a lot of fire in this reading. And that suggests action needs to be taken. Um, it's not usually an energy that sits by and wait, right? Waits for anything. Um, but it also suggests tapping in your to your creativity because that's where you're going to get some of your answers usually now this page of wands let me see here i want to see what it's with because it's with the knight of cups right so um that's an emotional um that's an offer of something emotional, either you offering your cup of love or someone offering one to you. So I wanna see what this is and how this, um, so we can dive into this deeper. Um,
Okay, so this just suggests that you're hoping for, because it's with your, the wish fulfillment, you're hoping perhaps for some type of excitement with a lover, some type of passion, right? Like, almost like a, I feel like sometimes a new love, because pages, they're a young, youthful energy, right? That inner child, they're learning. Or, again, maybe you're learning how to express your emotions and offer those and to be open and vulnerable, right? So you can receive that too. Because if you stay closed off or you stay where you're trying to control, you get an imbalance within your masculine feminine energy, which is this right here, right? So it can be very frustrating when you're trying to be in the throes of a relationship, right? It can, or something, a creative project, and you're having to work with others, you know. It, it's having to learn how to express those emotions when you're so logical and rational all the time, right? You guys represent balance, this justice card that makes a fair judgment on anything and, and it removes the emotions from it. It's not doesn't mean that that person doesn't, you know, a judge doesn't have emotions. It's just that judge has to, or that lawyer, right, has to look at the facts. And you guys are so used to doing that that I think sometimes it's hard for you to open up because of your fear of either getting hurt or whatever, but you're not going to manifest this, your ship's coming in if you don't learn how to handle your emotions, right? Does that make sense? So in order to, to obtain this wish fulfillment card, you have to take action in dealing with these emotions in channeling them properly, right? So that you know how to offer this cup of love to someone or have them where you're not so closed off and have them offer it to you. Does that make sense? So I just keep seeing a repeating pattern here, Libras. So I hope that helps. Thank you so much for letting me read for you. Like, share, subscribe, right? Uh, that way we keep this at the top of the channel. Leave your comments. Let me know how your journey is going. You know, let's try to keep it positive in the comments because this is this is tough energy uh, right now and especially with all that stuff that's going on. You know, um, I'm not saying I'm being fake. I'm just saying, you know, like, let's practice keep it on that positive vibe. You know what I'm saying? So thank you guys so much. Um, if you need personal reading, my information will be below. And check, again, check your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs uh, for a more comprehensive reading. And you can go to Cafe Astrology if you need to figure that out. I'll try to leave the link below if I remember. Bear with me if I don't. But you can always ask in the comments, and I'll get back to you, okay? If you don't know how to find your, your other signs, okay? So wish you guys all the best and a happy April. Love you, Libras. Thanks.